So, I will now try and teach you uh, a very simple smoothing technique. And this is the only smoothing technique that I will show you now. It's called... Uh, mm, mm, it doesn't have a name, okay. So what it does, it, it takes the previous reading compares the, previ the previous reading with the new reading and shows a value in between. So there is some sort of traveling time from one value to the other. Let me show you how this can be done. I will declare a value which is called max audio p p meaning previous reading okay and at the beginning this will be also zero at the end here at the end here the max audio previous reading would get the max audio reading okay so after the end of the loop here, when the loop starts from the beginning here, the previous max audio value is stored. Okay. And what we will do here is this. We will max audio equals to max audio p multiplied by 0 0.5 plus max audio multiplied by 0 0.5 what we have done here is that uh, it will take some more than one readings for the for the display to read the signal of our the 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 strength of our signal you see it will be always in between the previous and the new reading let's see how this will work Ah, did it start? Oh, it started. Ooh, can you see now? Ooh, the value is shown a little bit uh, slow. It goes slower from one point to the other. Let's fire up. Does it look better? Let me show you here, for example. If I take 0 0.9 from the previous and 0 0.1 from the new one, uh, let me show you what this will cause the needle to do. If I will put this signal generator again, that I had before. Ah, hmm. And I will look now when I will stop this, that the line will go slowly to the bottom. Look. You see how it did it? Now, by using the values here. 0 0.9 from the previous and 0 0.1 from the new I made the line very very smooth and it's not very good but just to see the point and if I press play it goes slowly to the top 
If I stop it, it goes slowly to the bottom. Uh, we can, if I put here, for example, like before 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, I will upload the sketch again. And we do here the same thing. We will uh, see how smooth we want our needle to be. Let's see. And stop. Okay. Looks better here. Uh, what we can do, for example, we can add here a variable. Call it. Call it. Smooth. Equals to. Mm, let's say. And then I will add a comment. Right now I will stop. Then I will add a comment. This is a comment, right? Uh, saying, let me see. So if I will put here smooth. divided by 100 all right smooth divided by 100 so it will we have here 0 0.5 and this will mul multiply it by um, 1 minus smooth divided by 100 so you see what we did here we use this variable if this variable becomes 90 okay then the previous audio signal here the previous audio signal will uh, be multiplied by 0 0.9 so uh, high up to 99 very smooth low up to 1 very fast ok so if we put here 10, uh, this will the previous will be multiplied by 0 0.1 and the new uh, audio signal will be multiplied by 0 0.9. So I will put here let let's see 60. Upload it. Okay, it's done. Upload it. Let me do this. Okay. I will load. I will put the signal to be up to the. Okay. Now stop it. You see? how it takes some time to reach the end okay now now let me show you a little bit better representation I can draw a line I will draw this line from the middle of the bottom of the display the bottom uh, of the display the middle is 128 divided by 2 is 64 and at the bottom is also 64 and it will go uh, to the max audio 
and at 10. I will now comment out this line. So, with this command here, look what we have done, how it will look like now. It's done. Oh, look, <laughs> what we have here, we just draw, we are drawing a line and uh, this looks like a little bit like a video painter, right? That's why I did this. Okay, the diameter, the length of the line is not uh, very, it's not the same. <laughs> we, we it reaches always uh, line number 10. So the diameter of th the length of the line is not always the same. As it goes to the edges, it is longer. Uh, we could uh, use some geometry here and uh, make it look correctly, but I will not do it. Uh, I will now use the Okay, the problem here is, no, look now. You see? And if I stop it, it will go, it will go slowly to the beginning. Okay, and if I play a song, Let me increase the volume a little bit. <coughs> it looks like a video meter, doesn't it? Right? <laughs> uh, I can do something else. I can uh, draw another line. which will start from line, let's say, 80 and uh, height 0 and it will be drawn up to line 80 always, but uh, here nine. Let me show you why I did this and what I accomplished by doing this. Ah, ah! You see what I did? I I made it. I made it look like it. there is a zero point, that's what I wanted to show. Now it's... You see? Increasing and decreasing the volume, I will. Okay, I will make the line a little bit more smooth by putting here, let's say, 80. I think I did something wrong here. Hmm. Looks like uh, it's not very smooth. 
I don't know why I made a mistake. Okay, it's not a big goal of a deal, right? Done? Done? Now it's smooth. Stop it. Uh, obviously I did a mistake here with uh, the calculations but you can just do it like that no big deal um, I think a reading like 0 0.6 and 0 0.4 might be the best one but uh, you can uh, you can experiment a little bit You can expect, let's see the some music. Okay. You may experiment a little bit and find the reading that you like uh, the most. Okay. Uh, what we can do here is that the same way we can uh, add another channel so we can take an analog reading here from pin 8 1 and do all the rest down here two times for example have a max audio variable l and a max audio r for, for left and right and do all this two times and then here here with the rectangle okay draw two rectangles one above the other and uh, display both channels okay then and then with one OLED screen we will have uh, two channels uh, as I said if we want to separate uh, OLED screen we have to use two Arduinos. One Arduino cannot control two OLED screens, but one Arduino can control one OLED screen, but showing two channels. Okay. Uh, I think that is enough with uh, what I have, uh, what I wanted to show you. And I think you can now experiment a little bit and uh, do better uh, representation since we can manipulate graphics on the OLED screen and uh, now uh, what I have taught in this uh, series of videos with uh, VU meters with an Arduino uh, is a good start a good learning point so that you anybody can keep on from on his own okay that's it i might make another video uh, where i will do some better uh, representations of uh, um, of uh, vu meters on on an oled screen and show this to show off a little bit uh, how we can what we can do a little bit better okay that's all and be good folks bye bye